This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Another question here from Twitter. This is a, this is a dandy. How do you describe Vince McMahon to a stranger? Ooh, uh, a crazy genius. Uh, John Layfield and I had this discussion not long ago, talking about how people say that he's out of touch and that he's he's lost it. He's this, that, and the other thing. I remember those same comments about him in 1984. <laughs> that he doesn't know what he's doing, he's killing the wrestling business, he doesn't have a clue, um, he's lost He's lost his mind. I, I don't know how many times I, I heard it in the 90s or uh, <laughs> early 2000 while I was there. Look, I'll put his track record up against anybody, but it was always intense, and it was it was insane at times, but it was never boring. You know, when I first came to work there, and uh, uh, there was a time there in the early going, and then had my little interruption in service. I came back. Uh, it was here's my point is riding in the car with him when our, when we go on the road to do TV, before the airplane, before the chart, the Lear, and you know all the Black Beauty and all that stuff. We were flying commercial, uh, and we were renting a car, and he he always drove the car he was riding in. He drove. As best I recall, I might be wrong on that, but I think he drove most of the time, didn't he? A lot of times, yeah. And then, and, and then when, uh, like when we were doing Raw, and it was just like me, Vince, and Pat. A lot of times, he would have Pat drive. I would have to sit shotgun, and he would sit in the back in the bartender seat, and they would just uh, piss me off. That's where Pout Boy was born. Wow. <laughs> but you know, you learn a lot of things about him. You know, he, he does need food with his hands. Uh, you know, I said one time, I said, you don't eat with your hands. He said, nope. I said, how in the hell do you eat ribs? How do you eat fried chicken? I don't. I don't. <laughs> how dare you infer I might eat fried fowl? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. How dare you insist I'm normal? Ugh. Meat <laughs> on a bone? Yeah. Ugh. And they fry it, you say. <laughs> Yeah, my, I asked him one time the same thing about eating with his hands. Well, what about a sandwich? That doesn't count. I said, okay, how about pizza? I fold it over and I don't eat the part I touch. Jeez. What the fuck? Oh, that's, yeah. that's way out of my league, buddy. Hey, we got some questions here from Twitter, so you never know what you're going to get. Not, there, it's a potpourri, so here we're going to, we're going to, we'll just dock a bunch of these out and just go until we're time's up. There should be some fun shit here. Let's go for uh, it. Uh, regarding WWE, and here, so it's a three-parter, and you can answer any or all of it, uh, it however you choose. Why did you leave WWE? Who told you you were going to be gone from WWE? Did you expect it was going to happen, and do you think there will ever be a reconciliation? Okay. First of all, I was fired. Second of all, Stephanie McMahon fired me. Third of all, I did not know. And last but not least, you never say never in this business. And it's it's just that. It's business. And many years have passed, and time moves on and heals all wounds. And, you know, hey, you and I both, we're no strangers to be <laughs> fired by the McMahon. No. <laughs> so, you know, it's like shit happens. Yep. So, um, but yeah, that's it, man. I, I was fired. I, I was asked to leave, and I left, and it was time. Everything runs at course. I had a great run, and I loved my time there. How long were you there? 22 years. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.